wanted to talk to you guys real quick about life since COVID. You know, let's let's make this a heart to heart moment. Let's make this a moment to um, be real with one another, to um, talk about what's on our mind, uh, a moment to breathe. You know, I will invite you right now if you feel tense, you know, just take a and let it out. Um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about life since COVID because I feel like it's come and gone, but at the same time, the effects are still here lingering and things have changed. You know, before COVID, things within society in the Western world were definitely tense you know, in all the world, really, we could say. Um, and money was tight, possibly. Possibly money was tight. But since, you know, you look and there just seems like in many spaces there's no hope. You know, hope is gone. And right now, people are just little balls of anger, anxiety, frustration, you know. And um, it doesn't help that when you look on TV, okay, but the economy is doing well, it's bouncing back. You'll hear that, right? Um, but it doesn't help when you aren't feeling that, maybe you're feeling that, you know, even in your wallet, maybe you are, but maybe you're not feeling that emotionally because the truth is, is that globally we went through a trauma. So I want to hear what you guys, I want to hear what you guys think about some of these things that people have said online. I'm going to read you a few comments from social media that people have said about life being more negative since the pandemic. So someone says, I just see the most disgusting comments on social media that I don't know, I don't even want to repeat. People exposing other people's personal business, making hateful comments, etc. I know social media has always been somewhat like this, but it seems like it's gotten worse. And and when I when I just talked about that, I got a flash of Aaron Carter. You guys know I really liked Aaron Carter, but the last few years of his life, I was really sad to see his cognitive decline, you know, and he was just posting lives every day. He died in such a horrible public manner. Um, and when I think back on that, that was really just right post COVID that all of that went down. And his um, increase of his social media usage before he did die and just sort of the erratic behavior um, the just, you know, beating down his family, trashing his family online for millions of people to see. Um, all of that happened during COVID. It was when we were sheltered in place. Now, me personally, you know, and that's just, that's a famous person, but those, you guys might resonate with that because those same things were happening in our, our normal everyday circles, in normal people's lives. And me, you know, I am the introverted extrovert, you know, I think that was Kendrick Lamar who said that, but I, I love my alone time. I've always been like that. Najwa, my name means secret talk with God. That's always been something that has energized me. It energizes me to give other people a big old bright smile and my energy and pass that to them. But then I, I love also to retreat into my own spaces, my own oasis, to write, to create, to paint, you know, to read. Um, and that right there invigorates me. But I know a lot of people to be alone, you know, and of course I don't always spend my time alone. I also spend my time with my friends and my family. But I know for a lot of people, A, they don't have friends and family to reach out to or they don't feel close to them. And B, they retreat to be alone, not from a, a place of invigoration or um, sort of just like that manifesto, I'm here moment, but it's more so um, out of isolation and fear and anger and anxiety. And so I think we all saw that from all the way on the spectrum. If we're looking at a spectrum all the way from celebrities all the way down to just normal everyday people, we saw that emphasized, you know, during the pandemic. Um, someone else says, because people's social lives have changed, decreased massively. People going outside less and getting less dopamine from the sun, from the sun will make them constantly angry, negative at someone doing well. Now that right there is very strong. Um, before I continue with this comment, I, I feel that very deeply. One thing that was definitely highlighted when I, um, when I graduated university, actually when I was younger, um, to go in a field like advertising, there were a lot of people who really didn't like that. They absolutely wanted me to go into a field that was much more understated, you know. 
and that wasn't for me that was for them when I started this channel when I started writing there were a lot of people who just really really seemed to not want me to do well when I got married to my soulmate um maybe in ways subconscious and conscious there were people who tried to quite literally sabotage my marriage um that right there that sentiment that oh all humans can have that like nastiness in them you know maybe it's something deeper sometimes it's you just having a bad day you cut somebody off in traffic we all have that um ability to be our gremlin selves as i call in my book um but during the pandemic it seemed like that really got heightened right and people didn't want to see other people doing well so this person goes on and says they are replacing the dopamine one would get from positive experiences like going outside with negative dopamine that they get from social media. So hating on things, people online. So I just want you guys to and then breathe it in for three seconds and out for three. Just real quick. I know we didn't come on here to breathe, but it's okay. And it's okay if you do things sometimes in your gremlin self. If you throw a, a side-eyed comment here, or you cut someone off in traffic there, or you troll someone's Facebook page there. It's okay. You can come back from that. Just remember that you are an individual. There is a beautiful, God-blessed human being inside of you. And try to be there for others. Try to be there for yourself. Practice self-love. And also be there for others. Pandemic or not. And um, don't be afraid to talk about how COVID has affected has affected you. It, it really affected the whole world. Talk to your friends and family about it. For some of us, for example, I know at least two or three people in my life died. Either from COVID or from complications from COVID. So that also doesn't even all account for the human losses that we lost in there you can be like my mom and some of my asian friends child you can go ahead and build you a um how do you call it um an altar you know put pictures of your lost loved ones you know put plants there whatever it is put food if you are inclined sort of like the japanese or the korean or the chinese um but it could also just be meditation it could be yoga it could be going outside like they said to take a run um do those things to get back to that vitamin D, you know, sometimes you really do need that sun and to cultivate yourself. But I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Guys, let me know in the comments if you're comfortable about how COVID has affected you, how you've overcome some of those adversities that we gained. I don't know what to say gained, but that we took from COVID. Um, and let me know how you're doing. I would love to hear it. So um, love is there. The love is there.